So what we might move on now is now we're starting to add milk to the espresso. We can start seeing that the the shot at the start is all the same. It's always the same. So we, you know, we can produce that and again. It's all about putting that perfect shot straight into the cup. What we're going to look at now is the cafe latte, or in Australia we call that a flat white. Latte is a little bit different. We'll make, an, we'll make a cappuccino as well. Cappuccino is uh, probably the number one drink in Australia, but certainly the number one drink probably in Europe. Um, and again, what, what a cappuccino is 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 really a uh, uh, it's a milk-based uh, espresso beverage with a, uh, with, a, with a generally about half a half an inch worth of uh, textured milk on the top, and then it's dusted with chocolate. Okay, we can see that we can produce our produce our shot pretty much perfect every time now. Producing coffee, variety of coffees is really now down to milk texturing and milk texturing uh, principles, but it's also about the rate of pour. Okay, the difference between producing a cafe latte and a cappuccino is the, the rate of pour, the, the amount of textured milk you're allowed to pour into the cup. clean the steam arms, which is the only part of the process that actually comes in contact with a, uh, with a product that the consumer is going to, going to drink. Again, we work the milk. And with the cappuccino, you can see that we pour quite aggressively right through the middle. And then we move on to a latte. And the latte is a slow, continual pour. You'll notice we, st we slow the pour down. And as we get to the top, You can actually put a little bit on top there, just like that. And again, the difference we talked about was textured milk. You can look at the, the latte, the flat white, very thin when it comes to textured milk on top, whereas if you look at the cappuccino, you're going to see that it's, it's actually quite dense. It's a good half, half an inch, half an inch, third of an inch to a half an inch underneath, underneath on top. A good cappuccino, you should be able to pick it up and then turn it upside down and it shouldn't move.